so, so here is the thing so we have we have this in place straight away right so what what you guys can actually uh, think about is the kind of ndb questions that we have um dealt with before as well right now what we are going to look at next is we are going to take uh, a practical scenario uh, for both ndb as well as for vor we had a particular question on vor uh, i believe before last day you can probably connect it to that particular question but let's see both of them together on one board right yes so yes So let's see a, a simple question here. Uh, so let's let's take a navigation using NDB. You're kind of tuned into a particular NDB. Your ADF is pointing towards the NDB. So you know all those basic basic ideas, right? Now uh, let's assume that the RBI is RBI, which is the ADF, uh, reads say for example 135 degrees. So that's more like your more like your relative bearing because it's, it's rbi here and let's assume um assume a heading of say 200 degrees uh and let's draw a diagram here so you're flying the aircraft uh, the, the 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 cock the the pilot is looking at the cockpit instrument which is the rbi and he read the rbi reads 135 degrees relative and uh, he knows that the heading is 200 and that is indicated in the heading indicator as well. All right, so let's kind of draw the diagram straight here. So we have the NTB. Right, so what a pilot, this is, this is what the pilot will see, right? Now what a pilot has with him is, uh, what do we have? As, as a pilot, so all of you have, all of you have done with your flying. So as a pilot, what do we have as a VFR pilot? Um, we have a chart yes we have the chart with us so let's draw the chart here so we have we have the chart depending upon where you fly the type of chart varies let's look at lambert's chart probably which we use here for our navigation and uh, so we have the aircraft we have the ndb right now let's draw the ndb here this is the this is kind of a kind of a real scenario NDB say for example let me name the MB NDB as FRX right this is the NDB and the the instrument says that the NDB is on a relative bearing of 135 degrees so you know what these two values can give you have done numerous problems based on uh, ADF and headings uh, so what what does RB and heading give you that's it, it gives you the QDM the QDM is the magnetic track to the station right something which you have to be really really um, careful about it's a magnetic track to the station so this is basically magnetic to the station right and now so what is what is QDM so QDM is basically your heading plus your relative bearing and your heading is 200 degrees here plus relative bearing is 135 so we need this we need the track to the station or track from the station because whatever line i'm going to draw here is always the track so i need the track to start with and that's what i'm trying to find out 200 plus 135 is 335 degrees this is the track to the station now uh, look at the real picture as, as i told you before what we have is the is the uh, NDB and where do we have the NDB? You can locate your NDB, this Foxtrot Romeo uh, X-ray, uh, on a chart. Yes. So you look at the chart and you can see that oh yeah, the the uh, the NDB is somewhere here. Right. You would see the NDB here, Foxtrot Romeo here. You would see the frequency. You would see the Morse code. All those things would be there uh, on a chart right now uh what about the aircraft you don't have the aircraft you, you are in the aircraft but you don't have the aircraft position with you we are trying to find that which means i cannot really take my pen and straight away say hey i'm here uh that's not really possible because what we have to fix the position immediately is the chart 
right? So I look at the chart, I see here, the NDB is right here, but what I know is that my ADF is telling me that the NDB, which are, you have tuned into, which is Foxtor Romeo's X-ray, is uh, on, um, on a track, on a magnetic track of 335 uh, from the aircraft to the station, right? So from the aircraft to the station, it is it is 335, right? But it's not really convenient for you to draw from the aircraft. Rather, it would be convenient for you to draw from the station because station is what you have on a chart. So this is basically for uh, for you to analyze from a cockpit point of view. So probably if you have not flown, uh, this might not be really clear or probably helpful for you. Uh, but you can just go through it uh, for, for your understanding purpose. But um, if you have flown, you understand what I'm saying. What I have is the navigation aid, not my aircraft. So what I need is practically not the QDM. What I need is my magnetic uh, track or bearing from the station, not to the station, right? But that's fine. We can deduce that from here. So if we have the QDM, if we can find the reciprocal of that reciprocal track, which is 180 degrees to it, what you'd be getting is the QDR. Now what is QDR? This is the magnetic bearing but now it is from from the station curia let's find out this is 335 and you take off 180 from that let's find out I hope I hope uh, you online guys are still streaming well if you have if you have uh, problems do let me know please drop in the chat because i probably might not really uh, see it otherwise okay or you can just call me out as well all right so just 335 and you remove 180 from it that is 335 minus 180 which is 155 155 degrees. Now remember this is track from the station and that's what we want because what we have is a station with us on the chart. You are sitting in the aircraft but you don't know where the aircraft is because you're in the aircraft and now there's no aircraft. Right now so we have the QDR value value we have the QDM value. Now what we need to do is to locate yourself to find your position that's called position fixing right. To do that you have to put this data on the chart that you have again as a VFR pilot that's the, that's the primary source of uh, source of information for you, terrain, uh, the, the routes, everything that's there on the chart for you. So over here, we have a problem. So what we have got here is all what the aircraft instruments have given us, what we have deduced from those values as well. And for that reason, all these values are nothing but magnetic. Now this is one very, very important thing which we have to, uh, we have to consider because something which you can completely forget to him, right? Um, now, so the, the track from the station, which is magnetic, is 155. So well and good, you know where you are with respect to the, with respect to the NDB, right? So let me just draw that straight here. So I am on a track of 155 degrees. Now remember that is magnetic. It's more like a radial of a VOR, even though we don't generally call radial for an NDB. Uh, it, it's just like that. So 155 degrees magnetic from the station, right? This is more like the QDR. But it's always a good practice to even orient yourself with the opposite direction because in marking other angles this this can help you as a reference right so it's qdm which is track to the station magnetic track to the station is what you initially found out which is 335 degrees again magnetic this is something which you have to really note all these values are magnetic because it's all deduced from the aircraft instruments and what you have added here the heading which you have added here, right here is again nothing but magnetic because you got it from the heading indicator right which is coupled with the compass so it's, it's all magnetic perfect now what I need to do is I want to position fix myself I need to find out where I am now remember just having the track from the station will not help you fix your position you can see here you could be anywhere on this track of 155 degrees you could be 10 nautical miles 20 nautical miles 30 nautical miles from the station uh, now, there are a couple of sources by which you can actually find that out, right? So, uh, that's it. So, 50 nautical miles. So, let me mark that 50 nautical miles here. You take the ruler and you measure 50 uh, nautical miles, right? You take the ruler, you measure 50 nautical miles, you mark it through that track, and that's it. You're right here. Now, let's mark the aircraft, right? Now, to fix your position, uh, you need to kind of transfer this whole 
picture, the three-dimensional picture which you have made in the aircraft, straight to what you have, the piece of paper which you have, which is the chart, right? Now this is the trickiest part. When you take these values, which are, understand, magnetic, to a chart which is constructed with respect to the true or the actual poles, actual structure of the Earth, uh, you have to apply variation. That's it. This might seem very simple and kind of popularly known, but remember, in an aircraft cockpit environment, uh, it's very easy for you to forget this. If you fly in a country like India, where variation is, at the moment, zero, uh, this might not be significant because the variation is zero and for the same reason whatever in magnetic is in true as well uh, but if you fly in most of the other countries you will have variation you have to apply the variation right perfect now let's apply the variation straight how will i apply the variation is the is the primary question now this is why we are kind of discussing this on the first place as i told you i'll be discussing vor as well along with this uh, to start with it's NDB here and the whole idea about discussing this is to is to find out and make you understand how to apply variation Now you can see that I am kind of 50 nautical miles away from the NDB right now Let me assume uh, even 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 the distances are longer enough like 150 or 200 nautical miles still works uh, Better because now think about the variation at the NDB uh, Say for example, we take it as 15 degrees east 15 degrees east variation Right, so you know the basic ideas of variation and stuff, I'm not going into that. We have 15 degrees east variation. And let me uh, think about the, the variation at the aircraft as, say, 20 degrees east variation. Now, uh, not to confuse you, let me draw the aircraft straight here. Remember, I will not be drawing the aircraft here practically. It's going to be drawn here. But I just don't want to keep this as a point. Let me draw the aircraft. Aircraft, draw the aircraft, consider the heading here, which is 200 degrees, right? So this is 335, definitely through 200. It's the left of it. This is a heading of 200 uh, degrees. Perfect? Yes. Now, uh, the variation at the aircraft is 20 degrees, and this is the variation at the, at the NDB. Now, to transfer these values, the, the tracks to the, to the uh, chart over here, you have to apply variation. You're going to convert the, true, the magnetic value which you got here, to true value which you're going to put on the chart right you have two different variations now because ndb and uh, adf sorry ndb and the aircraft are at different locations which variation are you going to use that is that is the whole idea about this discussion otherwise i'm pretty clear you know the the question part of it we have done numerous questions based on this all right yeah exactly so that's that's the whole uh, the whole idea did you get why yeah you can take some time think about it i'll give you maybe two minutes uh, we have discussed this in VUR as well, a bit here and there, because I wanted to keep it as a, as a kind of kind of a question to think about. I'll give you some time. Uh, think over it. Also, the, the guys who are streaming up there, think about it. Uh, the which variation would you prefer? Uh, probably use 15 or 20. Why do we take that? The 